Okay guys. Good evening, no. Pasensya na, pasensya na. Technical difficulty, no. Okay guys, sorry, sorry. Good evening sa inyong lahat. Welcome, welcome again. Uh, sorry for the delay, no. Sorry, can you hear me guys? Can you hear me? Can you type sa chat box if you could hear me? Thank you, Manuelito. Thank you for waiting, no? Thank you. Yan. Okay. So, yan. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Salamat, salamat, no? I hope na... Yan. So, before we start, no? Let's wait for others to come in since uh, nagpadala pa tayo ng broadcast, no? So... I'll I'll just play a video, a short video, no, uh, just to explain, okay, mutual fund, okay. Marami investor ang wala talagang oras, pasensya o kakayahang bantayan ng stock market. Para sa kanila, mas okay pang ibigay na lang ang pera nila sa isang expert na siya nang bahalang dumiskarte kung saan magi invest ang expert na yan ang tinatawag na fund manager. At ang lahat na perang binibigay sa kanya ay nilalagay sa iisang pondo. At ang pondong ito ang tinatawag na mutual fund. Ang mutual fund ay ang pinagsama-samang pera ng maraming tao at kumpanya. Depende sa diskarte ng fund manager, iniipon nito at maingat na ilalagay sa iba't ibang investments tulad ng stocks, bonds, money market, o maging ibang mutual funds mismo. When you invest in the stock market yourself, para kang nagmamaneo ng sarili mong kotse. On your way to becoming rich, pwede kang duman kung saan mo gusto. Bahala kang mag-shortcut, longcut, stopover. Discarte mo na yan talaga. Pero kapag sa mutual funds ka nag-invest, para kang sumakay sa jeep. Unang-una, may mga rota yung mga yan. This means, they cannot invest everywhere. They can only invest in certain things depending on how the fund was set up. The rules are set up when the fund is first created and the fund manager has to abide by them. Di ba parang sa jeep, hindi sila pwede maan kung saan saan. Secondly, just like a jeep, there are fees. Whenever you invest in a mutual fund, you have to pay the fund manager. Much like the fees you pay when you get to a jeep. Higit sa dalawang dekada na ako sa industriya ng investments. Mula stocks, mutual fund, insurance at real estate na ikot ko na yung lahat. At iisa lang ang napansin ko. Kulang sa kaalaman ng mga Pilipino. Ito ngayon ang layunin ng aming programa. Ang palaguin ang kaalaman ng mga Pilipino upang maayos nilang maipundar ang pera nilang pinaghirapan. Magandang umaga mga kapuso. At talagang maganda ang ating umaga ngayon dahil malalaman natin at iisa-isahin ang maari nating makuha sa pag invest sa mutual funds. Ano ba mutual funds? Saan ba ito makukuha? Ano ba ang may dudulot nito sa ating buhay pinansyal? Risky ba ang mga ito? Bakit hindi natin alamin ng pahapyaw ang ilang mga puntos ukol sa mutual funds? Marami investor ang wala talagang oras, pasensya o kakayahang bantayan ng stock market. Para sa kanila, mas okay pang ibigay na lang ang pera nila sa isang expert na siya nang bahalang dumiskarte kung saan mag invest Ang expert na yan ang tinatawag na fund manager. At ang lahat na perang binibigay sa kanya ay nilalay sa iisang pondo. At ang pondong ito ang tinatawag na mutual fund. Ang mutual fund ay ang pinagsama-samang pera ng maraming tao at kumpanya. Depende sa diskarte ng fund manager, iniipon nito at maingat na ilalagay sa iba't ibang investments tulad ng stocks, bonds, money market, o maging ibang mutual funds mismo. When you invest in the stock market yourself, para kang nagmamaneo ng sarili mong kotse. On your way to becoming rich, pwede kang duman kung saan mo gusto. Bahala kang mag-shortcut, longcut, stopover. Discarte mo na yan talaga. Pero kapag sa mutual funds ka nag-invest, para kang sumakay sa jeep. Unang-una, may mga rota yung mga yan. This means, they cannot invest everywhere. 
they can only invest in certain things depending on how the fund was set up. The rules are set up when the fund is first created and the fund manager has to abide by them. Di ba parang sa jeep, hindi sila pwede dumaan kung saan saan. Secondly, just like a jeep, there are fees. Whenever you invest in a mutual fund, you have to pay the fund manager. Much like the fees you pay when you get to a jeep. Kung medyo nalalabuan pa kayo sa mutual fund sa ngayon, huwag mag-alala. Up next, we'll talk to a couple who invested in mutual funds at ikukwento nila ang naging karanasan nila dito. Ngayon medyo may idea na tayo tungkol sa mutual funds. Kakausap naman tayo ng isang mag-asawang nasa mutual funds na para makita natin ano ba naging karanasan nila dito. This morning, we are privileged to be joined by Mr. and Mrs. Doby Atilano and of course, his wife Jacqueline Atilano. Hi guys, good evening, good evening. Hello everyone. So sorry again no for the delay. Sorry for the technical difficulty. No, I was trying to connect no webinar jump to Facebook no, but uh, I'm un- I'm I failed no. So good evening sa inyo. Um can you type diyan sa comment box no kung from where are you guys? Kung nasaan kayo? Kung kayo nanggagaling? Can you type sa chat box? Yan, good evening, good evening. Can you type the chat box kung nasan kayo and then we will start in one minute. Okay. Hi Paul, good evening from Dubai Joy, from Manila Effie, Domagete Vida. Magandang gabi. Yan, Manilin from Saudi, wow, no? From Sambuanga si Joey. Yan, si Rudy, no? From dami nating OFWs, no? Riyadh, Qatar. Guys, congratulations no for attending this seminar, this webinar and uh, I hope no may matutunan ka no after this webinar. Okay? So we will have a Q&A after my presentation, okay? Can you see my Can you see my slide? Wow, mayroong taga BFRV Las Piñas, Mignon. So, I'm from Las Piñas also, no? So, yan. Can you see my slide? So, we could st- I could start na the presentation. Again, sorry for the delay. Yan. Okay, guys. So, my topic for tonight, no, it's about uh building your wealth through mutual funds so in my previous webinar no if you have attended my previous webinar no i talked about a uh, personal financial planning so so when we execute no, personal finance no basic financial planning no basic investments no i will discuss naman ngayon no a vehicle no which we could ride no para maging wealthy tayo at achieve natin yung mga financial goals natin okay Yan. Okay. Yan. So again, I'm Lauren Genisio, no? Uh, I'm a public accountant by profession, no? So I work for the government, no? So public practice around two years and for the government around six years, no? Around five to six years, no? But I resigned, no? And I dedicate, dedicated myself, no? After my resignation and leaving the corporate job, my, co- my corporate job, no? So, nagtuloy-tuloy na ako mag-educate about financial literacy and financial planning. Okay? So, I'm also a registered financial planner, no? So, talagang naging passion ko, no? Maging financial planner, no? Giving people's advice about money matters, about investments. Okay? So, I'm also part, no? If you know Truly Rich Club of Brother Bo Sanchez, I'm also part of the research and development and marketing of the Truly Rich Club. Okay, so I'm also a financial, personal finance blogger. So I started around 2011. No, I started blogging about personal finance, about uh, financial planning, about money matters. No, so also, siempre, send financials. Okay, so this is my uh, financial education company. No, send financials. Okay, so kilala nyo ba to, guys? Would, would you know kung sino tung taong to? Sa picture, no? Can you type sa chat box? Kilala nyo to? Okay. Yan, no? Kilala nyo ba yan, yung boxingerong to? Can you type sa chat box? 
Tyson, no? Tama, tama. Marcel, tama ka. Emma, no? So, ito. Kilala nyo ba to? So, kakatapos lang ng NBA Finals kanina, no? Allen Iverson. Okay? So, itong mga to, yung pinapakita ko sa inyo, no? These people, no? From being multi-millionaires, no? And billionaires in pesos, no? Um, they went broke, no? Actually, si Mike Tyson, no? Siya yung number one in terms of net worth na nag naging for multimillionaire nag naging broke no from 400 million da- dollars no so imagine mo 400 million is around 20 billion pesos no na ubus niya ganun din si Allen Iverson no around 156 million no ang naubos niya no grabe no so minsan din natin ma-imagine no uh, we're thinking na 100 million 1 billion is enough for us but Nakita niyo tong mga taong to, no? Billions of pesos, no? Naging nag-file pa rin for bankruptcy. Okay? So, sabi sabi nung nalaman ko, natutunan ko, no, tatlong reason daw bakit mahirap ang mga tao. Okay? First is because they don't want to be rich. So, ayaw talaga nila ng mayaman, no? Siguro, marami tayong makikita diyan na sinasabi lang na yes, gusto kong maging mayaman pero in terms of their uh, you know, willingness, no? Katulad nito no? Kayo, kaya kayo umattend, no? It's because gusto nyo maging mayaman. So, willing talaga kayong maging mayaman. No? So, etong mga to, may mga tao talaga na ayaw, eh. Na okay na sila sa pagiging tambay, no? Pag- okay na sila sa, sa trabaho nila. They, they, just, they just want to, don't, they don't want to be rich, no? And second is they're financially stupid. So, ito yung Pinakita ko kanina sila Mike Tyson, di ba? Sila Allen Iverson. These people, no? What we call are what we call financially stupid. So they they have a lot of money and dami nilang naging pera, but still, no? Inubos pa rin nila because they're financially stupid. They don't know how to handle their money. Hindi sila marunong mag-handle or maghawak ng pera nila. Okay? And they don't ride vehicles to well. Okay? So hindi sila nag let's say kumita ka ng pera, no? pupunta ka. So, kunyari, gusto mong pumunta ng Baguio, no? Maraming way, no? Maraming ways paano ka makapunta sa Baguio. First, pwede kang maglakad, no? Pwede kang mag uh, magmotor, pwede kang magbisikleta, pwede kang magkotse, pwede kang magbus. No? There are many ways. So ganun din so pagiging mayaman. They are vehicles na tinatawag to wealth. Okay? So one of which, no, yung i-discuss natin mamaya, which is mutual funds. Okay? Yan. So, financial freedom is available to those who learn about it and work for it. That's very, very important. So, hindi lang sapat yung, no, uh, magkaroon ka ng pera. You, sh- you should have, you should know, no, how to handle your money. No, Kump- kanina pinakita ko example. Maraming ganyan, no, hindi lang sila Allen Iverson, no, hindi lang, uh, hindi lang sila Mike Tyson. Marami kahit sa Pilipinas, no, yung mga nananalo ng loto, no, bakit ganun? Multi-million yung napalanunan nila pero ilang years pa lang ubus na agad. It's because no, they are financially stupid and then they don't invest their money. Okay? So, ayun yung mga reason. So, we have three stages, no, financial stages in our life. No? So, let me share this to you. No? First is, we have man at work. No? So, ito yung tatrabaho tayo. No? And you, uh, you type strat box. No? Nasang stage na ba kayo ngayon? no nang uh, dito sa tatlong stage na to nasang stage ka na ba man at work nagtatrabaho ka no para kumita second stage man and money at work ibig sabihin ikaw nagtatrabaho at meron kang mga investments na like real estate mutual funds stock market na nagtatrabaho para sa iyo nagugrow para sa iyo or ang third stage naman okay Yung pera na lang, di ba? Kung baga yung investment mo na lang, real estate, no? mutual fund, stock market, business na lang, yun yung nagtatrabaho para sa'yo. Sabi nga nila, the best employee is money because hindi sila nag-believe, no? hindi sila nagkakasakit, no? wala silang sweldo, pero nagtatrabaho sila sa inyo. So, yan, nakikita natin sa chatbox, no? marami yung sa first stage. Okay? Sila, iba naman, nasa second stage na. no? <laughs> but I'm sure, konti pa lang yun nasa third stage o yung hindi na kailangan magtrabaho para kumita. <coughs> Excuse. 
Okay? So what can we choose from? So ano yung mga pwede nating investment sa sakyan, no? Ano yung mga pwede nating investments na pwedeng palagyan para maging, at the future, maging money at work na tayo. Okay? Types of investment. So we have real assets, no? It represents the actual tangible asset that may be sent, seen, felt, held, or collected. Okay? Or financial assets. So, okay? So financial asset is represents a financial claim on an asset that is usually documented by some form of legal representation. So again, we have two types of assets. First is real asset and the second one is financial asset. Okay? So real assets, ano ba yung mga yan? No? And collectibles, arts, no? stamps, real, est real estate, no? yung mga house and lots, no? rental buildings, office buildings, these are the real assets, precious metals, no? So, gold, silver, okay? Precious gems kung meron, di ba? And marami pang iba. Ito yung nahawakan at nararamdaman ng mga assets. Okay? Ano man yung mga financial assets na tinatawag? Okay? Preferred stock. So, mga, ayan. Common stock warrants, no? Pension plans. Okay? Creditor claims. Savings account. Money market, no? Mutual funds. These are paper assets. Okay? Financial assets na tinatawag. So, nakita na natin kanina, what are the types of investment that we could invest into? Second is, what are the considerations? So, bago ka mag-invest, ano ba yung mga consideration mo na kailangan i-consider? <coughs> Excuse. First, do not put your money in anything you do not understand. So, pag hindi mo naiintindihan, no? Kaya marami nang i-scam eh. Hindi nila naiintindihan. May nagsabi sa kanila, No? Ito, magdodoble to, no? Mag-invest ka dito, magdodoble to. Without even understanding, no? Mga Pilipino nagbibigay ng pera. Okay? Kaya marami na i-scam, no? Recently lang sa TV, mga artista, ultimo mga educated talaga, no? Na mayaman, na i-scam pa rin. No? Because they don't understand. Tapos, nag invest sila doon. That's why, before, before you invest into something, you have to do due diligence, no? You have to check talaga kung legit ba yung investments na to. Okay? What do you want to achieve? Second, kung mag invest ka, ano ba gusto mong achieve? Gusto mo bang lumaki yung pera mo? Para ba to sa retirement mo? Para ba sa educational fund ng anak mo? So, isipin mo, ano ba yung gusto mong ma-achieve? Okay? <coughs> Third, how much do I have? Okay? Isipin mo, magkano ba yung kailang, magkano ba yung meron ka ngayon, no? Para ma-achieve mo yung mga gusto mo. Okay? How much yung pera mo ngayon? So, yun yung mga kailangan mo consideration. First, you have to understand. Second, no? Ano yung mga goals mo? Third, ano yung meron ka ngayon at ano yung kaya mong itabi for your investment? Okay? <coughs> so, why we, in, why we should invest? First is, to cope up with inflation. Okay? So, nakita nyo naman, like for this example, no? Lagi nyo nakikita to. Ano ba yung inflation na yan? Okay? Nung 2000, yung isang libo mo, punong-puno pa yung grocery basket mo. Nung 2010, no, isang libo, pakunti ng pakunti yung laman ng, ng basket mo. Kasi, tumataas yung mga bilihin. No? Yun yung inflation po. So, in the Philippines, no? Ang average natin for the past years no is around 4 to 5%, 4 to 6% yan. Okay? That's yeah, inflation, okay? It's a general increase in prices and and fall in the purchasing value of money. Okay? So usually yan nga 4 to 6% a year yung inflation rate natin. Okay? It's determined by the Banko Sentral ng Pilipinas. Okay? So pag nag invest ka, never never accept return Especially if your investment goal is long term, never never accept below inflation rate. No, this is an example. So, pag nag pag sa savings mo lang nilalagay ang pera mo, tapos for long term 'yan, may goal ka na matagal, 5 years pataas, no. Lugi talaga yung pera mo because kinakain na ng inflation. Ganun ka importante 'yan. Okay? So dapat pag mag invest ka, make sure, especially if it's long term, no. It's Historical returns are above inflation. Okay? Second is to achieve our financial goals. So, ano ba yung mga goals? Okay? 
Ano ba yung mga common financial goals? Yan. Retirement fund, educational fund, syempre, pang paaral ng anak natin, pang negosyo, no? dream car, dream home, dream vacation. So, ito yung mga usual, usual na common goals ng mga Pilipino. No? Ito yung kailangan natin pag-ipunan or yung mga kailangan natin pag-investan. Okay? So, let's say, if your retirement fund, no, magkano ba yung kailangan ko sa financial planning, dapat natin i-invest yan. Okay? Retirement fund, educational fund, business, dream card, dream. So, depende yan sa inyo. So, if ever may asawa ka, kailangan yung pag-usapan, ano ba yung mga goals natin? Okay? So, for retirement fund, magkano yung kailangan natin? Ano yung vehicle na paglalagay natin para ma-achieve natin yung retirement fund goal natin? So, pwede yan stock market, pwede yan mutual funds. Educational fund, pwede rin yung mutual funds, no? Business, dream car, so depende. No? Depende sa horizon, depende sa goals mo. So, where to invest? It depends on your investment goals, no? So, if short-term siya, short-term instrument, so mga below 5, mga 3 to 5 years lang yung kailangan mo pera, mga, mga short-term goals yan. So, pag short-term, treasury bills, bank deposits, no? Time deposit, money market, bond funds, no? Pag mid-term naman, mga 5 to 7 years, balance fund, corporate bonds, management. So, pag long-term naman, stocks, equity funds, okay? Mutual funds, okay? So, yan yun. So, depende sa goals mo, okay? So, pag, may, pag nagtanong ka, ano bang right investment sa akin? So, dapat alam mo, ano ba yung goals mo? Kailan mo kailangan yun, okay? So, let's say, kung 3 years pa baba, dapat short term ka. So, pag mga 5 years to 8 years, mga mid-term investments yung kukunin mo. Pag pataas yun, let's say, 7 years, 8 years pataas, no? pang retirement, ganyan, it should be long-term, stocks or mutual funds equity. Okay? So why we should invest now? Because, no, we have a good stock market no, uh, index. Let's say uh, the PSEI, no, it's the, this is the average of the top 30 corporation in the stock market. For the last 10 years, no, it can, it can be volatile. The stock market can be volatile. Pero historically, pataas pa rin yan. So are you part of it? Nag-invest ka ba before? Okay? Sayang, no? So, kung so congratulations, no? Kung may nakikinig sa inyo na nag-invest before, I'm sure, kumit, kung lumaki na yung pera mo. Okay? So, and we have also a good demographic. So, population natin, medium age, medium age, no? Demographic sweet spot, uh, OFW remittances, no? Okay yung growth ng Philippines. That's why, I highly encourage you kung di ka pa nag invest talaga sa mutual funds, no? You could start as soon as possible. Okay? So, if I invest in the Philippines, no? United States, ganyan yung demographic uh, distribution niya. Japan, no? Medyo pangit kasi, alam nyo, nagkakaproblema sila kasi konti na lang yung mga bata sa Japan, no? They need to, uh, kailangan nilang mag, uh, mag-anak ng mag-anak kasi, yun niya, ito yung demographic nila. Majority sa kanila, mga 44 years old na, no? 69, matatanda na. Okay? Unlike sa, Ito, Indonesia, which is a good uh, investing place then, no? And especially Philippines, no? Nakita niyo naman, ang daming bata sa Pilipinas. That's why very optimistic yung mga investors, yung mga business owners na mag-grow talaga yung economy natin. It's because of our demographics, no? Madami tayong population, yung consumers, no? Madami, dadami pa. So yung mga business, pag marami consumers, yung mga business magta-thrive yan, no? Tataas yung profits, and it will be reflected, of course, in the stock market. Okay? Yeah. So, also the train law, no? Meron tayo yun. Boost infrastructure spending, higher consumption investments, improve social services, inclusive growth. Okay? So, by 2021, the PSEI is projected, no? Sabi nila, to hit 12,000. Okay? So, ngayon, nasa around seven. Ano ba tayo ngayon? No? Mamaya, papakita natin yung chart natin. Sobrang baba po ng market natin ngayon. It's an opportunity for us to buy and to invest right now. Sobrang baba po. So, so sabi nga dito, no, consensus by 2021, no, our stock market will hit 12,000 level. Okay? So ngayon, we have the best opportunity right now to invest around 7,000 or 7,500 pa lang tayo. 7,500, no? 
So, bring yung growth, no? To 12,000 level. That's why it's very, very important to start investing right now. No? So, I'm sure, guys, no? Uh, after this webinar, please do so. Invest in the stock market. Invest in mutual funds. No? Sayang. Sayang opportunity. Okay? Kahit paunti-unti lang, no? And if you have questions, mamaya, sasagutin natin, no? I'll just continue my presentation. So, why we should invest right now? So, nakita nyo, no? nakita nyo na tataas yung stock market natin, yung market natin tataas. The economy of the Philippines will bloom, no? Sabi nila, within 10 to 16 years, we will be one of the top countries in the world, no? Econ uh, kumbaga, speaking of economy, no? So, that's why we should be part of it, no? Kahit malit lang pera natin, no? We, we should start investing, okay? So, the second reason is the power of compounding, okay? So, let's say if you're gonna eat soft drinks, no? Sabihin ni iba, wala akong pang invest. Ang mahal mag-invest. Guys, you could start at slow as 5,000. 5, you, you could start investing as low as 5,000 pesos and participate in the stock market. Sabihin ni iba, wala po akong 5,000. Pero pag may soft drinks, pambili ng soft drinks, meron. No, let's say, tatlo yung kinukonsume mo per day. That's 1,350. Eh, magkano lang starting? 5,000. Tapos you could add as low as 1,000, 2,000 a month. Okay? So, 1,350 yung ginagastos mo sa soft drinks. Eh, kung in-invest mo na lang siya, no? At 20 years, kung tuloy-tuloy yung kesa mag-soft drinks ka, in-invest mo na lang siya sa, sa mutual funds, 1.17 million in 20 years. No? Cigarette, ganun din, no? 50 pesos per pack, 1.3 million in 20 years. Pag the dine-in sa labas, 1.73 million. No? So, ganun lang po. So guys, yung mga nagtatanong paano mag-invest, mamaya, I'll just, uh, gagayad ko kayo mamaya. Ano? I'll, I'll give you instructions. But for now, let me discuss this, yung mga concepts and the importance of investing. Okay? And uh, para maintindihan nyo. No? Ayoko naman. Ha? Sige, mag-invest kayo agad. I just, Gusto ko maintindihan nyo no, kung saan kayo nag invest how it works, no, para at least alam nyo kung saan napupunta yung investment nyo. Okay? So mamaya, ituturo ko po yan. Just stay tuned. Ganyan lang kayo. Makinig muna kayo kasi madami akong uh, hinanda no, ng mga lessons para gusto ko i-share sa inyo, guys. No? So, yan. Katulad yan. Expensive coffee, magkano ba yung mamahaling coffee dyan, no? Yung, yung mga latte, 150 per cup, let's say, one per day, no? Usually, yung mga nasa call center, and nagkakape sila lagi, 4,500 a month, biruin mo ang ginagastos mo sa kape. 3.89 million kung ininvest mo na lang sa mutual funds in the stock market. Okay? 20 years, 12% annual return. Ganun din yung mga gyms, no? Nagbabayad ka. Gym membership, 2,000 a month. 1.73 million. So titignan mo, sasabihin ng iba, wala silang pang-invest, no? Hindi na po reason 'yon. You could start at 5,000 initial account opening kahit magdagdag ka lang ng 1,000 or 2,000 naman pwede po. At hindi naman siya mandatory. Kung wala kang mapag-invest next month, okay, no, next month okay lang 'yon. Pero ako, I would advise that you do it consistently monthly. Okay? So, ano yung latte factor? So, so sasabihin nga nung iba, like kung sinasabi, kasi ako, I would, I've been an advocate for, since 2011, no? So, yung iba sabihin, wala akong, wala akong pang invest, no? So, pero, check this latte factor, okay? Based on David Back, no? And uh, Tony Robbins. Based, ano, ano yung latte factor? It's based on the simple idea that all you need to do to finish rich is to look at the small things you spend your money on every day and see whether you could redirect that spending to yourself. Ibig sabihin, no, tignan mo yung mga small na ginagastos mo. Baka pwedeng bawasan mo at i-invest mo na lang. Putting aside as little as few, as few pesos a day for your future rather than spending it on little purchases such as coffees, lattes, bottled water, no, fast food, cigarette, magazine, and so on can really make a difference between accumulating your wealth and living paycheck to paycheck. Okay? So, yung mga small purchases pala, it could determine, no? 
kumbaga it could determine our financial wealth in the future. That's, yun ang gusto ko emphasize Those small purchases, napaka-importante nun. So we don't even realize how much we're actually spending on these little purchases if we did think about it and change our habits just a little. We could actually change our destiny. Okay? So after this webinar, eh, check mo, saan ba napupunta yung mga gastos ko? Saan ba yung, saan ba ako gumagastos ng malaki? Baka, baka I could trim them down, no? Like what I showed you dito, di ba? Soft drinks, si iba, naninigarilyo, yung mga dinner-dinner sa labas, coffee, di ba? Baka meron ka expenses that you could trim down that that could, that these small things could change your financial destiny. Okay? So sabi nga ni Tony Robbins, No, small purchases that we don't even consider, things we end up wasting our money or without realizing it. So for, you know, sinabi niya yan, di ba? So in $4 or $150 a day or $200 a day could give you around you know, $2.5 million in 20 years. Grabe. Okay? So the earlier you start, the bigger, the bigger your nest egg or your retirement fund would be. Okay? So the earlier, the better. You know? The best time to invest is yesterday. Pero kung di ka pa nag invest after this webinar, you should be investing. Okay? It doesn't matter how much. No? Ang starting lang, 5,000. It doesn't matter. But the for me, no? Dapat lang makapag-start ka and build that habit of investing and saving. Okay? So where to invest? No? Kanina sinabi natin yan, short-term, mid-term, and long-term goals. So let me emphasize again. Why should you start? So iba, nakita nyo na itong presentation na ito, itong story ni Earl and Letty. But again, for those who are new, I just want to emphasize the power no, of starting and saving early. Okay? Meet Earl and Letty. Okay? Si Earl, no? Yan. Si Earl, nag-start siya, umaten siya ng Ascend Seminar, no? Nag-start siya mag-invest sa mutual fund at the age of 21. 2,000 a month, no? Or 24,000 a year. So, nakita nyo to. 2,000 a month lang or 60, around 62, 70 pesos a day lang ang ini-invest niya. No? Kayang-kaya yon, no? Magkano nga yung ulam na pagkain natin na minsan yung pang-inom natin, no? So, kayang-kaya yung 2,000. So, si Earl nag-decide siya at the age of 21 mag invest siya. No? 2,000 a month or 24,000 a year. Okay? Ang total investment niya is 240,000. For, 10, for over 10 years. So, that's around 240,000. No? So, yun lang yung total investment niya. So, so 21, nag-start siya. At the age of 31, nag-stop na siya. So, 10 years lang siya nag-invest. Okay? So, ang total investment niya lahat is 240,000. Okay? So, mga nagtatanong, again, guys, no, milet, uh, yung mga gusto mag-invest, mamaya, at, at the end of my... Uh, presentation, igaguide ko kayo, tapos bibi, you can also message me or email me on how to invest, okay? Mat- mamaya, igaguide ko kayo. Tapos, if you have any questions, guys, lagay nyo lang dyan, tapos mamaya, at the end, I will answer them all, okay? So, si Leti naman, after 10 years, nag-meet sila ulit. So, sabi na Earl, nag-una na ako na mag-invest, mag-stop na ako, 31 na tayo. So, siguro tama na muna yung na-invest ko na for 10 years, no? Which is 240,000 or 2,000 naman. Si Leti naman, o oh, sige, mag invest na nga rin ako. So, si Leti, nagkatrabaho na siya, nag-invest siya at the age of 31, okay? So, 2,000 naman, 24,000 at the age of 31. For the whole 35 years, no? Since 2031 to 65 years old, retirement age yan, di ba? 35 years yung nag-invest, 2,000 a month, that's 840,000. Ang total na in-invest niya. Okay? So after 35 years, 65 na sila. Ang total na in-invest ni Leti is 840,000 at si Earl ay 240,000. Okay? So ang tanong, guys, sa mga nakikinig dyan, no? No, para malaman ko na nandiyan pa kayo, no? Sino sa tingin niyo ang may mas malaking investment? Okay? Si Letty or si Earl? Si Letty nag-invest ng 840,000 for 35 years na nag-i-invest siya. Si Le- si Earl naman, 10 years lang siya, 'di ba? From 21 years old to 31. 
240 lang na invest niya. Sino sa kanila ang may kinakamalaking ano, investment? Okay. Yan, iba-iba, no? Earl, Letty. Yan. Okay, tingnan natin, no? Si Letty, meron siyang 11.6 million. Si Earl, 24.9 million. No? Grabe. No? Mas maliit yung in-invest ni Earl, pero mas malaki yung investment fund niya, retirement fund niya. Okay? So, ito yung breakdown yan. Okay. So, the earlier, the better. Okay. Kung hindi ka pa nag invest ngayon, you should be start investing. Okay? So, yan, tama. Yung mga sumagat ng Earl. Okay? So, again. Sige. So, si Earl, alaman mo na na mas okay pala mag-invest ng mas maaga. So, what if naman, after this webinar, sabi mo, sige, next year na lang ako mag invest No? Yung iba, sa inyo, magte ng action, mag invest agad. So, let's say, 2,500 naman. Yung iba sa inyo, nag-invest for 25 years at 15% annual return assumption, you will have 7.5 million. Okay? Okay? Pero kung dinilay mo lang, kunyari, iba sa inyo, no? nag-procrastinate, no? nag-tamad-tamara na naman, hindi na naman nag-invest, Next year pa daw siya mag invest So, nag-delay siya ng one year. So, after 24 years, since kasi nag-delay siya ng one year, yung pera mo is 6.25 million lang. Okay? Imagine mo, no? Nag-delay ka lang ng investing, ang nawala sa'yo is 1.25 million. Nag-delay ka lang ng one year, let's say next year ka pa nag-invest, 1.25 yung nawala sa'yo. That's equivalent to losing 3,400 a day. Okay? Or 1,400 a month. Okay? Yan yung nawawala sa'yo. Okay? So, imagine mo, no? Ganun kahalaga ang mag-start agad-agad mag-invest. Okay? So, according to survey, no, let me share this to you. No? Survey, senior citizen survey sa atin, no, sa Pilipinas. 2% are financially independent. 23% are still working, no? 30% are dependent on charity and 45% on dependent on children. Okay? Yan yung mga statistics ng mga senior citizen natin. Sa tingin nyo ba, pagtanda nyo or pag dating nyo ng retirement age nyo, gusto nyo mo mapabilang sa dependent on children which is ma- almost majority. 40, 45% of our senior citizen are Dependent on children. 30% are dependent on charity. So, saan mo gusto? Siyempre, doon tayo sa financially independent. Okay? So, your parents are not your emergency fund. Your children are not your retirement fund. So, you should build your own wealth. Okay? Hindi tayo pwede umasa sa gobyerno. No, alam naman natin yung SSS baka malugi na soon, no? Nagkakaroon ng mga news niya hindi malabong mangyari yun, di ba? Kapag tinang- in-increase yung pension, baka maubos agad yung pondo na SSS. Baka hindi na umabot sa'yo. So, hindi na- tayo pwede mag sa parents natin, sa anak natin, no? Sa government agencies, no? Kailangan tayo mismo ang mag invest para sa sarili natin. Okay? Again, inuulit ko, we have three stages of financial stages in our life. Man at work, man and money at work, and money at work. Okay? So actually, there are two ways to invest in the stock market. So let us check, no? Ano ba yung mga way no, na makapag-invest tayo sa stock market? There are two ways. First is direct and second is indirect. It's like, for direct naman, it's like driving your own car knowing where to go. Unlike yung kanina, yung napanood yung video niya simula, no? it's Uber Pool or Jeepney. No? Okay? So, yan yun. Guys, can you hear me pa? Can you type the chat box if you could hear me? Emma, if you could just refresh it. Yan. 
So there are two ways, no? Indirect and indirect. Okay? So that's how we could use our money to work for us. First is the direct investment. So you buy stocks directly in the stock market. So yan bibili ka ng mga shares ng Ayala, Jollibee, no? And if you will do that, no, I advise you na dapat guided ka. Okay? So kita nyo ba yung presentation ko, guys? Yan, can you can you hear me and see my presentation? Okay, sa mga hindi po nakakarinig or hindi nakikita yung screen, just refresh po or check your internet connection. Okay? So you can see, no? You can see naman the the my presentation. Okay? Okay, so if you're investing in the stock market directly, I advise na mag-guide ka. That's why you know, I'm also part of the Tool Rich Club. So if you want to be guided directly, if you want na malaman kung anong stocks yung bibilin, no, you could go to www.trollrichclub.ph. So it's headed by Brother Bo Sanchez. So yun tinuturo niya kung anong stocks yung bibilin mo. Okay, so guided ka. No, hindi ka ma-scam dyan, no? Mas madali lang magbumili ng stocks talaga, diretso sa stock market. Okay? Next. Indirect way, the second one, no? And if you're starting out, kung medyo uh, takot ka pa or di mo pa alam or medyo malit pa yung fund mo talaga, I suggest na you go with the indirect one. It's like riding a jeep, no? Marami tayong nag invest no it's mutual fund okay so it's an investment company that pulls money from numerous investors through the issuance of its shares to public so the pooled funds are then invested by professional fund managers in various securities according to the investment objectives of the policies of the companies okay so ganito yung example ng mutual funds okay so ito yung tayo investors okay we pull our money let's say 5000 no Tagpo 5,000 tayo. O each, we put 5,000. And then the mutual fund company pulls our money. Okay? And then, may fund manager na mag-handle. Ito yung driver ng Uber pool or ng Grab pool or ng Jeepney driver. Okay? Kasi pag, again, this is the indirect way, no? May fund manager. So, we pay him fees, no? Uh, binabayaran natin siya to invest for us. So, mag invest siya sa stocks and sa bonds. Again, no, successful investment adds value to the fund. Ibig sabihin, pag kumita yan, no, babalik yan sa mutual fund company at pag ng mga mutual fund investors. Okay? So, ganun po ang mutual funds. Okay? There are different types of mutual funds. So, bond fund, money market fund, stock fund, and balance fund. Okay? So, yung bond fund, yan yung mga Let's say if your investment goal is around no 3 years below or 3 to 5 years you could put your money in a bond fund mutual fund okay kung mga 3 3 years below yan mga 2 years below pang pampakasal next year pampabili you can put it in money market mutual fund kung long term yan no around 8 years pataas 10 years pataas pang retirement you could put it in your stock fund mutual funds okay Kung ano naman, kung 5 years to 8 years, balance fund. No, ang balance fund kasi, it's just a mixture of stock fund and bond fund. Okay? So what are the benefits of mutual funds? No, Since this is our topic, I dwell, I will dwell more on the benefits of mutual fund. Okay? Yan. Yan. So diversification, no? Tax exempt. Professional management, affordability, diversification, ibig sabihin, no, unlike sa pag bumili ka ng sa stocks, 5,000 lang pera mo, pag dumiretso ka sa stocks, minsan baka wala ka pang mabili dyan. Kung may mabili ka, isa lang stocks mabili mo. Unlike sa mutual funds, yung 5,000 mo, lahat yan mabibili. No? Diversified, marami. Since pag pinul yung pera natin, lalaki na yung pera natin, mas marami ng mabibiling shares. Okay? Second, it's tax exempt under RA, Republic Act. 8424. Third is professional fund management. So merong magmamanage ng pera natin, we pay him 1 to 2%, minsan 3% a year, no? But ako, I don't mind, no? If they give me 18 to 20%, 15 to 20% a year, okay lang sa akin yun kung may fee sila. Okay? 
So, the professional fund management, nakatutok yan every day. Sila yung bahala mag-manage ng pera natin. And it, I think it's fair to pay them management fees, di ba? Liquidity. So, anytime, so unlike sa stock market, if you go directly, pag walang bibili ng stocks mo, hindi mo siya maliliquidate. Hindi mo siya mabibenta. Unlike sa mutual funds, no, they are mandated by law, mutual funds, na ma-redeem yung pera mo. So, kung gusto mo na siyang i-redeem, makukuha mo na agad yun. Okay? Like convenience naman. So, convenience, no? Fill up ka lang ng form, no? Tapos, yun na. Okay? Sa email mo, makakatanggap ko na ng updates kung magkano yung investment mo. Okay? No? So, no stock picking. Di mo kailangan mag-stock picking. If you're busy, focus ka sa business mo, sa job mo, sa, sa ibang businesses mo. Hindi mo kailangan mag-stock picking because fund manager na gagawa nun. It's for busy individuals. No, appropriate for all types of portfolio kahit maliit pera mo, mas maganda. Pag malaki pera mo, okay din yung mutual funds, okay? So, again, lower capital, you could start as low as 5,000 pesos. Okay? Anong mga requirements diyan? Iba sa inyo gusto niyo mag-start, no? Ano ba yung requirements? Forms, no, which is which I will give you later. So, mga gusto niyo magsimula, and then two government valid IDs, photocopy, no? <coughs> With signature and then, of course, the initial investment. No, as low as 5,000, you could start investing. Okay? So, you, if you have questions, guys, mamaya sasagutin natin yan. Okay? So, these are the examples of mutual funds na we could... Yan. Okay? So, what... Sino yung mga mutual fund partners natin ng Ascend? You have Aether, Kim Eng, Fami, Sun Life, Hill Equity, and Film Asset Management. Okay, these are our mutual fund partners. Okay, so for example, no, one of my favorite, no, actually this is my favorite. This is where I invest into Phil Equity. Okay, like they started around 1995. Let's say I invested a million. No, tapos di na ako nagdagdag, no, kasi kasi nakalimutan ko na, no. So nakita niyo naman yung returns, no. May mga negative talaga, no, like this one. This one, and especially in 2008, no? Global financial crisis, negative 40%. No? But still, 1 million mo grew to 36 million. Okay? Ganun po, no? The power of investing for long term, and especially a good mutual fund. No? That's why ako nag-invest din ako, personally, sa Phil Equity Mutual Fund. Okay? But in profile niya, no? it's an equity fund established in 1994. Okay? So, minimum, minimum investments 5,000. That's minimum additional. Let's say, mas maganda monthly ka mag invest 1,000 yung additional. Okay? Management fees 1.5%. Okay? <laughs> so, this is where... So, makikita nyo dito... Uh, every month, no, you can check this out. No, may report sila kung saan sila nag-invest. So, majority sa SM. Yan. So, ibig sabihin yung kahit 5,000 mo, nakabili ka na ng mga Ayala, BDO, JG Summit, Bank, BPI, Metro Bank, no? So, ganun po ang mutual funds. Okay? So, for example, no? Uh, for this one client, no? Bumili siya ng 15 shares no, ng Phil Equity, 2008, no, 7.9 pa yung presyo nun. Ang market value, binili niya, 120,000. Okay? So, noong January 26, no, 2018, from 120,000, naging 652,000, no? And ang capital gains niya, 452. So, nag-grow yung pera niya since 2008. No, 120 naging 652,000. That's 20, 226% on initial investment. So, ito, actual po to. Okay? So, let's say, ang goal mo, parents' investment for their daughter. Kunyari, meron kang anak, kus, lahat nung, ito, ginagawa namin practice, no, no? Lahat nung napamamaskuhan nung mga anak nung kaibigan namin, no? Nialagay namin sa mutual fund sa stock market. Okay? So, for 20 years, para paglaki nila, no, meron ng 
meron na silang pera agad or mayaman na agad sila, no? So, for example, this is an example. Actual example to ng isang client namin. Okay? So, hi, Amaira, mamaya, no? Tuturuan kita paano ka mag-invest sa field equity. Okay? I'll just finish my illustration. So, for time, yung time horizon niya, 20 years, no? So, nag-invest siya, no? Ang <coughs> 25,000 yung simula niya. Okay? So, ito. 25,000 yung simula niya. May certificate ka makukuha. No? Ito ang shares na nabili niya. 9,281. Okay? So, noong January 26, 2018, ang value niya is 399,000. Okay? So, capital gains is 374. No? Kasi 25,000 lang eh. Yung in-invest niya, hindi na siya nagdagdag eh. That's 1,496.56. So what if kung nagdagdag ka pa, di ba? What if kung 1,000 nagdagdag ka pa, mas lalaki pa yung pera mo? Okay? <coughs> Ito naman, 10 years. Ang goal niya is for a dream business after 10 years. So nag-invest siya, no? Ng 27 shares. Okay? Kumpitin natin. So, noong 2018, January, 1.1 million na yung pera niya, no? 800 yung gain niya. Okay? So, ang initial investments niya ay 180,000. No? Grabe. So, anong business pa yung mabubukas mo dyan, no? From 380 initial na plano mo, naging 1.1, almost 1.2 million. Okay? That's 213% increase. Okay? Oo, no? So, so, let's say, again, retirement, 20 years, no? So, ito, ginawa niya, nagdadagdag siya from time to time, no? Since March 2007 up to 2011, no? Nagdadagdag siya, no? Hindi, kasi, ito naman, kung kailan mo gusto, pero mas maganda nga, mas monthly, mas mabilis lumaki pera mo, mas maganda. So, for 93,000 yung total investment niya, no? So, magkano na yung pera niya? Noong 2018, noong January, 301,000. Gain niya, 208,000. No? Return or ROI, 223%. No? Ang initial niya lang is 93,000. Ang total investments niya, pero ang initial niya rito, nakita niya, 5,000. Because it's the minimum to start. Then you could add 2,000, 4,000, 2,000, depende. Minimum of 1,000 a month. Yung pwede niyo idagdag. Okay? Let's say, si Sabrina, no? principal amount niya, de nag-debut, 5,000. Okay? Monthly deposit niya lang, 1,000. No? Nag-invest siya. Assumption natin, 13% that the mutual fund could do. Compounding annually. So, magkano? Initial is 5,000. You could add 1,000. And ang ginawa niya, para sa debut, 216 months. Okay? So, after 18 years, total principal, ito yung nahulog niya, na-invest niya, Interest amount is 16. Ang total value is 800,000. Okay? So, siguro naman, sapat na yan pang debut, di ba? So, ganun po yun, no? 1,000 a month lang. Pero, magiging milyonaryo na yung bata kahit 1,000 a month lang yung ini-invest niya. Okay? And the reason why I'm telling you then na uh, you should start right away investing in mutual funds in the stock market is because of our economy. Kanina ko pa sinasabi, no? We are going upwards. Napakaganda ng um, economy, no? Okay? So, ngayon, no, we are expected, again, in 2021, no? In, in 2021, na uh, 12,000 to 13,000 yung PSE natin. Pero ngayon, no? Last, uh, this is May, ano, no? May, uh, May 29, no? Last May 29 lang. No, 7.5 lang po tayo, bumaba yung market natin. This is an opportunity for us, no? Since mababa pa yung market, this is our scenario right now. Then June 1, no? Nandito po tayo sa bandang to. And we are expected in next 2 years that we could hit 12 to 13k, no? Yung stock market index natin. That's why yeah, we are telling you na as soon as possible, you start investing. Okay? So, let me share to you naman, no, uh, what, 
vision of Ascend Financials. So as 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 I for the five for the past five years no, I've been teaching about financial literacy. Ang nakita ko ito yung mga problema ng mga Pilipino. No proper guidance in financial planning and decisions. No financial goals and targets. No, wala tayo. Iba kahit may investment, wala naman silang target. Okay? No investment strategies. No? No proper protection planning. Okay? No mentor for money matters. No right knowledge about investments. Ignorance about financial products. Okay? Yan yung problema. Kaya marami na scam, di ba? Iba naman. Tuturuan ng ibang agent. Unbiased naman dahil sa komisyon. Di ba? Kung ano-anong ina-advise na investment, kung ano-anong binibigay na na financial product, eh, hindi naman kailangan, no? Kasi because they, they will earn commissions, yung mga agent, di ba? And always pray for insurance agent, na inakakalungkot dyan. And always a victim of scams and get rich quick schemes. Kasi nga, na-hype, no? Na yun yung mga... Yan, okay? So what... Naisip ko yung solution, that's why I created ascend no so guys if you if you want no this is just a i just want to plug no yung educational online educational course namin educational school namin which we will help you no um there are modules no financial courses to help you craft your own financial plan and investment strategies okay and and bias recommendation. So you could ask me anytime sa so office in Makati, in our office in Makati, or you can ask me in Facebook or email. I, I will give you recommendations, no? Because I have, wala kong tie-up or exclusivity, no? Sa mga financial companies, no? I could give you, yan. financial co coaching and guidance, and this learning and mastermind, okay? So updates on latest financial trends and investments, live workshops and webinars like this, no? We do this monthly, access to different financial products for your different financial needs. No, again, we don't have exclusivity. That's why what we recommend you is what we think is the best for you, okay? And a chance to help and serve other Filipinos. So, so of course, this is a good thing, um, Marami pang hindi nakakaalam, marami pang nai-scam, no? marami pang hindi nakakaalam about financial planning, financial literacy. That's why gusto natin na spread pa yung mission ng Ascent Financials. Okay? So the best investment you can make is yourself. So we have different modules, no? And financial seminars. No? This, this, these are live seminars and online recordings and webinars na which, which you could attend kahit wala kayo sa Pilipinas, no? And so we have different topics. We have 30 plus financial topics, which could help you decide and craft your own financial plan, make your own investment decisions. Lahat ituturo namin sa inyo. Kasi walang ganyan eh. Yung iba magtuturo, yung mga ahente, syempre they, they will be biased for their product. Okay? But for us, no? Kahit anong mutual funds yan, wala kaming exclusivity. Okay? Kung ano yung the best na nakikita namin, yun yung I recommend naman for you. Okay? So marami tayong topics every month. Nagdadagdag kami. These are live webinars and recordings. So kung di ka makakatid, ma-access mo siya. So Ascend is an online financial literacy training and seminars. Okay? So meron din tayong one-stop shop for all financial products and needs. Okay? So these are our mutual fund partners. These are magkakalaban po yan, no? But again, that's why kami, hindi kami bias. Kahit sana po kayo mag-invest dyan. So we have a uh, partner with Rampber, no? Sila yung talagang uh, mother broker namin. Sila yung broker talaga. And we partner with them in teaching, in reaching Pilipinas pa how to invest. Okay, we have also life insurance partners, no? Non-life, we also have that. Since pagkailangan ng tao, since we need to also insure, di ba? Yung mga cars natin, yung mga kotse natin, yung mga bahay natin, kailangan din po yan. Travel insurance, kailangan din yan. Life insurance, kailangan din. That's why we have this also. HMO Healthcare, meron din tayong the best, no? MaxiCare and PhilCare. Pacific Cross, meron din. And Global Health Access. Okay? So, ito yung mga, ito yung Ascend Financial. I hope, guys, na ma-check nyo rin siya, no? Uh, if ever after this webinar, 
Yung natutunan kayo, you can check this as in financials. Okay? Sabi dito, you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. Sabi ni Sig Siglar. Okay? So, guys, Q&A na tayo if you have questions. No? I could answer them right now. No? Thank you, guys. Sorry again, na-delay tayo. We should have started 9 o'clock, but na-delay tayo. Sorry for that technical difficulty. And I'm very, very happy kasi 200 plus pa yun nandyan, no? Nanonood, no? So, ang dami nyo pang nandyan. 230, 250 people out there watching until tinapos talaga nila to. 10.30 na, almost an hour. Okay? So, if you have questions, guys, ano nyo na dyan? Uh, i-put nyo nyo sa comment section. So, if you want to enroll to ascend, no, I'm inviting you guys to enroll para hindi ka na mabenta ng kung sino-sino agent, no? Para hindi ka na ma-scam. Craft your own financial plan, educational plan, retirement planning, insurance planning, uh, lahat about financial planning, no? Uh, asset allocation, tuturo namin sa'yo. Okay? So, just go to bit.ly slash enroll ascend now. And if you want to invest, let's say, for field equity, no, which is, ay, doon ako nag-invest, no? maganda talaga yung performance niya. For me, the number one mutual fund, that's bit.ly slash field equity procedure. Okay? And, nandun po lahat ng procedure. Okay? And then, kung gusto nyo naman, kung, ay, kung nasa Metro Manila kayo, or kung gusto nyo sa harap ko mag-fill up, sa harap kayo mag-invest, okay? You can go to our office at Room 4Q, 4th Floor, Marvin Plaza Building, 2153 Chino Roses Avenue, Corner of Fino, Makati. So, I'm there. We're open Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, 2 o'clock to 8 o'clock. Okay? Kung gusto nyo mag-fill up on the spot, no? Ng mga mutual funds. Again, we have Sun Life, we have Phil Am, Aether Kim Eng, Phil Equity as mutual funds. Okay? So, sabi ni Rosalina... Okay. Yan, sabi ni Rosalina, fa-flash ko po no, yung uh, Darwin, yes, may office kami sa Cebu. I'll just give you the office ah, okay? We have offices in office in Cebu. So Okay. Isa-isay natin po yung mga question sa sabi ni Darlene. May insurance po ba sa mutual funds? Wala pong insurance ang mutual funds. It's a stock market. It's it's risky. But again, it, it could be rewarding. Okay? Uh, walang insurance po yan. Unlike bank deposit, no? May insurance yan. Pero ang pera mo kakainin lang ng inflation. So, okay? Sabi ni Dane, paano po pag-educational fund for my child ang goal, sir? Paano? You can invest in the stock market or mutual funds. Depende sa kung kailan magka-college yung ano mo, yung anak mo, kung magkano yung kailangan mo. So you need tuturo namin yan sa Ascend. That's why if you if you could enroll, mas maganda. Kasi may workbook kami, meron kaming course for college fund planning. Sabi ni Sharon, gusto ko po mag-invest sa mutual fund. Yes, you could go to my office, fina-flash ko sa screen. No, or you could go to bit.ly slash fill equity procedure. Kung ayaw nyo, kung outside Metro Manila kayo, no, you could go to that fill equity bit.ly slash fill equity procedure. Okay. And Yan, ta-type ko po sa chat box, okay? Sa Cebu, ang office namin is, okay, uh, ipa-flash ko po. Cebu office. Okay. Sabi ni Julie, how much to enroll? Pag OFW, uh, Julie, just go to bit.ly, enroll, ascend now. So, nandun po yung price. I also message you. 
Sabi ni Miss Maria, my husband and I just turned senior citizen. Can we still do it? Yes, ma'am. But mag- ang advice ko po dyan, majority would be if you have retirement fund uh, or meron kayong pondo, kalahati siguro nun sa bonds, no? mas safe na. And the 50 sa equity. Hindi po pwedeng lahat po nasa equity masyadong risky kasi medyo senior citizen na nga po kayo. Miss Emily, may lugi po ba ang mutual fund? Yes, you could lose money. Pero again, historically, no, katulad nung kanina pinakita ko, tataas at tataas pa rin yan. Basta keep on investing, especially pag down yung market. Pag down yung market, din doble ko pa yung investment ko. Kasi I could buy more. And then, hold it for long term talaga. Okay? Joe Vert, kung nasa iligan ka, and then you, you still want to invest like sa Phil Equity, you could go to bit.ly slash fill equity no procedure okay so glenda recommendation po please where to get mutual fund considering that i'm from province of mindanao yan nga uh, tingnan niyo po yung screen you could go to bit.ly slash Fill equity procedure. Okay? OFW, ganun din po ma'am. Vita, just go to bit.ly fill equity procedure. Uh, Miss Anna, as this as discussed po kanina, monthly, uh, pwede po siyang hindi monthly, no? pero mas maganda, monthly ka mag invest para mas malaki yung return ng pera mo, mas lumaki siya. And you could start as low as 5,000 and then yung monthly mo kahit 1,000 or 2,000 a month po. Basta initial po is 5,000. Miss Pasita, how to invest in the stock market? Again, we have two ways directly. no Ang ina-advise ko, join trulrichclub.ph para mag ka. And for mutual fund naman, the indirect way, you, you go to the, the link na finish ko sa screen. Francis, you can go directly to my office kasi sa Phil Equity, uh, baka... Uh, hindi ka mapansin or syempre tatanungin ko kung sino nagturo sa'yo uh, sa akin syempre I could give you advice and may mga forms na kami I could entertain you diba? so pero same lang yung cost nyan no? wala namang benefit kung doon ka pumunta sa fail equity pero okay lang din if you want to go directly there para ewan ko kung may mag aassist sa'yo hindi ko lang sure po kung may mag aassist po sa inyo dun sa office ng fail equity but again if you go to us, we could assist you. Okay. So, Miss Lani, ang tanong niya, for, for, for 40-year-old person, which is better, insurance plus investment or mutual funds? Financial goal is for children's education and retirement. Pag educational fund siya, hindi po kailangan na insurance doon, tsaka retirement fund, kasi dapat mutual funds ng lahat yun. Insurance kasi is for protection eh. Protection in terms na may mangyari po or may dependent na nag dependent sa inyo, no? Kailangan may insurance ka. Pero again, ako I'm firm believer na may mga murang insurance po dyan. That's why I don't have VUL. Okay? May mga murang insurance po dyan. And then I invest in stock market and mutual funds. Lorenzo, paano pag OFW, paano mag-start mag-invest? If you want to go directly to stock market, trulyridgeclub.ph. Pero kung gusto mo mutual fund, fill equity, bit.ly fill equity procedure. Okay? So, to start po, ma'am, uh, yan. Fill equity procedure. Okay, mutual fund po ang fill equity. Okay? Aurora, Tulich Club, uh, hindi po to Tulich Club, but uh, we re- also recommend Tulich Club for stock market. Tulichclub.ph. Okay? We don't have Davao office yet. Sa Cebu, kaka-open lang po namin. Okay? Jerin, my husband is Spanish. Uh, pwede naman po siguro. Pero kailangan po kasi ng valid government ID eh, when you invest sa mutual funds. Eh. 
what is best mutual fund you can recommend for 50 years old now and still working? Uh, siguro 50% would be for equity mutual funds and 50% would be bond fund. No? Pag, pag medyo may edad na po. So hindi po lahat dapat sa equity. Ano po ang range contribution per month pag mutual funds? You can invest as low as 1,000 to 2,000 a month. Okay. Joanna, wala pong feel equity sa Iloilo. Again, if if you're outside Metro Manila, you could go to my website, bit.ly slash capital P feel equity procedure. So capital P po yung pareho. So if you go there, even if you're outside Metro Manila, may instruction doon how to invest in feel equity. No? Ia-assist ko po kayo. Okay? So, how do I know kung mag-grow yung stocks ko? Sabi ni John. So, every month, pag nag-invest ka sa Phil Equity, meron kang statement of account na marireceive sa email. So, makikita mo kung mag-grow yung pera mo. Okay? Uh, Amira, I'm not a fan of VUL since medyo mahal yan. I just buy term insurance and invest the difference. I'm not connected po with COL, okay? Yan. So, ingat lang po. That's why I encourage you guys to enroll in Ascent para alam nyo na yung mga tama, you know? Kasi yung ibang mga agent nyo, kung ano na nyo sinasabi, you know? no? Not all agents naman ay ganun. Pero minsan, syempre, commission kasi yan. So, kung, kung ano na nyo, minsan, kahit di mo kailangan, bebentaan ka pa rin. Okay? Yes, Joseph, may replay na ito. Don't worry. Okay? So, next, uh, bukas, i-email natin yung email. Ay, i-email natin yung replay link. You know? Sorry. Okay? So, guys, if you have questions, no, if you have questions, just email me at loranski at gmail.com or message mo lang ako sa Facebook. Okay? You can email me at Nuranski at jmail.com or message me in Facebook. Okay. If mutual funds po ba, pwede ma-withdraw? Yes po, pwede po ma-withdraw. Okay. Anytime po, pwede po ma-withdraw yan. Joseph, for enrollment sa Ascend, just go to bit.ly, enroll Ascend. It's a lifetime enrollment na po. Kumbaga, one time lang po kayo magbabayad dyan. Okay? Lifetime na po yung learnings nyo. Tapos every month, we add new topics, no? Okay? Okay, guys. So, if you have questions, just email me or message me in Facebook. Okay? So, thank you. Thank you guys for attending. Congratulations, no? Uh, sorry, no? Medyo na delay. And again, thank you for attending, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Emma, uh, to enroll, just go to... Ayan. To enroll, just go to... Ayan. Okay? Thank you, guys. Uh, thank you, thank you. You can watch the replay tomorrow. I will email you the link. Again, if you have questions, just email me at loranski at gmail.com or visit me in my office. No, room 4Q4 Plur Marvin Plaza, building sa Ascend. No? Sa Ascend Financials, 2153 Chino Roses. Okay? Thank you, thank you, guys. Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. Hope to see you in my office if you're within Metro Manila. And if not, if you want to invest in mutual funds, just go to bit.ly slash fill equity procedure. And if you want to enroll, I encourage you to enroll, no? Para hindi na kayo maloko, hindi na kayo ma-scam. Create your own financial plan from educational fund, college educational, retirement planning, insurance planning, investment planning. I hope na, yes, kahit nasa ibang bansa kayo, pwede kayong mag-enroll kasi lahat ng lessons natin, Online, no? Meron ding live seminar sa Makati, but meron din tayong version online, which is you could access anytime. Okay? I hope you guys enroll. Just go to bit.ly, enroll, ascend. Now, okay? 
Thank you guys. Again, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for attending. If you have questions, just message me again. You can email me or message me. Okay? So yung mag-email ako sa'yo, you can reply to my email. And thank you. Happy weekend. God bless. Thank you. Thank you, guys. God bless. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless. I'll be willing to answer your questions. No, just me email me or contact me in my Facebook account. God bless. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Sainya, thank you. Thank you. God bless. Bye-bye.